Welcome everyone to another episode of RCW Fusion here on this Saturday afternoon as we have your first matchup. You have Jason Outlaw making his in-ring return, his singles in-ring return here. Here tonight, he will face Chris Danger. A longtime rival. Now, the history of the Outlaw family and Chris Danger go all the way back to RCW Season 3. Way, way back. That's like 2K19 days right there. We're well beyond that now, now, folks. I am well aware of some of the issues with the game. Some of the issues with the AI and all that kind of stuff. We're just going to have to keep on trucking. And hope 2K will uh, fix it within the next patch and not break anything. For whatever reason, it seems like every single patch this game gets. There's always something broken. I thought patches were supposed to fix things, not break things, but here we are. We'll manage. We've done it before. And we will again. As we have Chris Danger. The internet darling of professional wrestling making his way to the ring now. Like I said, the Outlaw family and Chris Danger definitely are not strangers. Most of the time it was spent with the likes of Brian Outlaw, but he has other things on his mind right now. And Chris Danger, the internet darling, is ready. So we have Jason Outlaw. Jason Outlaw beefed up a little bit. Got some new ink as well. Now you got Chris here starting off with a forearm, and that's avoided. Now Jason Outlaw returned in the men's Royal Rumble matchup at Exodus. And look at this. The cutter from Chris Danger right off the bat. Look at that. Going for some acrobatics. Counting two and almost ended the matchup early. And again, trying for that springboard. You go to the well too many times, you end up paying for it in the end. There's Whip now, and he's just waiting for Chris to get back in, and that, that'll do it with that drop kick there from the apron. Now, like I mentioned, this is Jason Outlaw's first singles match back. Since his return at the Exodus men's 20 women, or 20 men, I should say, Royal Rumble. The first ever one in RCW history, and what a huge knee strike there from Chris. There's always a way to make history here in RCW, and Jason Outlaw did by being one of the 20 participants in that matchup. Didn't win it that that. Accolade goes to Desmond Wright, who will choose his opponent for Slamfest next week, next Wednesday on RCW. Make sure to tune in for that as Jason Outlaw gets a one count. Now he's going to try and get back into this here. Chris and Jason very, very quick on their feet in their respective rights. Is, but it's going to be a battle of who's quicker, who has the striker in them. Cover there after that stiff elbow. Kick out at one this time. 
And now that fired up Chris Danger. Chris Danger now might have been looking for Philly special, but realizing that Jason keeps getting up to his feet, it doesn't give him much time to set up the Philly special. He likes that Philly special knee strike in the corner, but you have to have time to, to set it up. And if your opponent keeps trying to get to their feet, it's kind of defeats the purpose of the whole strike. His right hand there. Irish whip into the ropes there and an elbow. And a Hurricane Rana right there, the pop-up. Hurricane Rana, and now Chris Danger. Oh, he's looking to go for the home run here. Tuning up the band with the sweet chin music. Right across the chin of Jason Outlaw, count of two, and a kick out. There's a lot of heart in the Outlaws, as my good friend Sakate would like to say. To get them to go down, you're going to have to kill them. You're going to have to make sure they stop breathing, and I know that's very barbaric, but that's just the way it is when it comes to the Outlaw family. They've been through hell and back. Their own mental and physical turmoils. And a little cover out of frustration. And that count of one there could have been the adrenaline rush as a cutter. Jason doesn't look all that great here in this matchup right now. Chris Danger with the final calling there. Seen him hit that so many times as he goes up to the turnbuckle. Splash! The splash right on to Jason and oh look luckily he rolled over into the corner and that's not going to help his case taking a knee strike there and Chris Danger has just taken this entire matchup over and the homage to Eddie Guerrero that wrestling legend lying and cheating and stealing part of his repertoire and on another super kick. Lands flush there. And Jason doesn't even know what hit him. He's going to know what hits him this time. Another super kick and both men tired. The sweet chin music. And it seems that both men still down. Finally, Chris gets the cover. And Jason... Kicks out of it automatically. Taste of danger. The defiance of Jason Outlaw. One. No. A count of one this time. Jason really needs to get something going here. Desperately. There you go, looking to regroup on the outside. He has to. But Chris is not going to allow him any breathing room here. Looking to send a message to the outlaw family. And especially Jason. This is not a kind welcome here. Both men into the squared circle again. And Jason lands a super kick this time, but he got right back up. And Jason, too much time. Too much time messing around. Kick out at one, though. He gloated after that super kick. And just like that, Chris Danger back in the swing of things again. Remember, folks, we have your main event, another title defense for our honorable, honorable world champion, Tiger. And Alton tried for the forearm there. Jason avoided it. Now Jason now. Kicked the knee roundhouse kick. The patented roundhouse kick right to Chris Danger to get rid of Chris and a kick out of two. And he props back up again. 
What a matchup this is here. It's now Jason. Trying to hype himself up here. Grabs the leg and a kick right to the back of the leg there. As he's swept Chris Danger off of his feet. Now he can't waste any time. Now super kick again. Now he's looking for the VR and he strike right across the face. Well, Chris Danger, two kick out from him again. Man, it really looks like we're seeing a rivalry renewed right here. With a matchup like this. Oh, and Chris Danger with a knee strike right there. He caught him. Taste of danger. Taste of danger. Oh, and again. Jason kicks out at one. Again, it's that defiance from him. I would expect nothing less. Neither of these men staying down for too long. Kick right to the face and a Spanish fly. You got to pull a rabbit out of your hat here if you're any of these men because you've tried everything. And another super kick there. And it might be game over. Or Jason looking to spoil the return and another sweet chin music. And I don't think Chris knows where he is. That's, that's not where Jason is. He's crawling over. Now hooking the leg, one, two, oh my. This is still going. And Danger wants no part of this forearm. And come on, he's just trying to get this matchup over with. And Jason won't let him. I'm looking for that standing Spanish flag. And he's not going to allow him to escape to the corner. But Chris pulls a fast one here, looking for the cactus. Jack Driver! And the smart instincts of Jason Outlaw rolling to the outside of the ring. Can't get pinned out there. And that doesn't mean that Chris can't dish out a beating out there. That's for sure. Tried for the rolling elbow strike and there's the spine buster. Got a lot coming at you tonight. Scarlet Nova looking for some revenge on despair. Oh, as I think Chris tried for taste of danger there. Oh, what a roundhouse kick. He got back up. Looking for a second one, missed it, DDT. Oh, and Jason got up. Roundhouse kick. Roundhouse kick right to Chris Danger. And he wins it. Jason knew that he was gonna go for that sweet chin music again. So much acts of defiance from both men in this matchup, but It was Jason who prevailed here. But there's plenty more to come. Jason wins.
In his singles return, don't go anywhere, folks. Tag team action coming your way. Here we are with your next matchup as we have Tag Team Action coming your way. We have the former RCW Tag Team Champions, Public Enemy, Justin and Ricardo Rose making their way to the ring now. And folks, as they make their way to the squared circle, you can check out SCW, our EFED Partner Syndicate Championship Wrestling over on my mod Young Sins TikTok. He's on a little bit of a hiatus now. We wish him a speedy recovery from laryngitis. We hope he gets back to uh, doing what he does best sooner than later. And speaking of doing what you do best, these guys, Public Enemy, they've been at the top of the mountain before. And I'm pretty sure they can get there again. Sooner than later. Public Enemy, R Justin and Ricardo Rose, they're considered veterans at this point of the tag division. But ever since Fear came on the scene and just has been dominating every single team that has stepped in the ring with them when it comes to putting those titles on the line, it seems as if nobody will be able to stop a team like them. And you have the muscle hustlers there. There's Don Donahue. Right there with him. Now we've seen these guys before against the Marshall Brothers. There's Bass Armstrong, the big powerhouse there. Now I'm not sure why a couple of Big guys like these guys need someone like Don Donahue at their side. Maybe it's, maybe he needs them more than they need them. I have no idea. But I'm not going to judge it. Ricardo looking to start this matchup here. And some muscle hustlers. There's Ricardo with the Irish whip and a clothesline. Ricardo very quick on his feet, very similar to the Street Profits. And I'm not just saying that because of their entrance, but, uh, you know, their wrestling style. You have, you know, Ricardo Rose that resembles the quickness and the agileness of uh, Montez Ford. And you have Justin Rose who resembles the power and strength of Angelo Dawkins. And look at this, the shimmy. As Justin Rose takes over. And the powerhouse of Justin Rose with that scoop slant. Doing a good job keeping the... 
Muscle Hustlers isolated. Look at that splash there. Going in for the cover. Not even a one count yet. And the Muscle Hustlers here firing back here. And look at the flatliner. Now the Muscle Hustlers, I don't know much about these guys, but what I know is they, they're basic... They're basically gym bros in a way. I mean, if you think about it. Oh, they're obsessed with uh, getting swole, you know what I mean? And You know, that's a good thing. You want to stay healthy. This Bass Armstrong comes in. He gets the tag. And just to note. Doing everything in his power to do what he needs to. Come out with a victory in this match of Bast Armstrong. Gonna get launched over. The apron and oh. Justin Rose. Getting baited there. Now that allows Bass Armstrong with the big boot. Two. And a kick out. Ricardo Rose. Taking care. And the other member is Don Donahue watches on, watches his team. Now Public Enemy, they are determined to get back on top of the mountain again as tag team champions. Bass Armstrong inside the ring, awaiting Justin Rose, now deciding to get outside the ring now. And oh, look at this, this is not good! He planted face first. And now a submission on the outside. Justin's tapping out, looks like a variation of the accolade there. That's a lot of man. On the back of Justin. Count of five. Six here. Seven. Eight. Oh, and now Ricardo. Helping out Justin. As Bass Armstrong getting back into the squared circle right where he belongs. Got to keep your eyes on the prize, my friend. And that's the legal man. Let's pass Armstrong here. On the apron and oh hesitated a little bit and that allows Justin to take over Ricardo Rose playing cleanup. And look at this, Justin Rose just wailing away. Now Justin turning his attention. As he silences the other half. And the muscle hustler is now Ricardo Rose. He's waiting for him. Waiting for Ricardo on the apron and a kick out. Or no, a clothesline, excuse me. Justin Rose was trying to get Bass Armstrong to the to the corner there to hit the hit list. That's no avail, but he's bailing out. Just 
Taking the man down for the time being. And Justin doing the work. Oh, Justin able to slip out. And now Justin's got this. As now they look for the hit list. No. Nope. Oh. Now that allows Justin to take over with a spine buster. Good teamwork. From the Rose Bros. And old Justin got a little overzealous there uh, accidentally. Th threw Bass Armstrong over to the outside. He had to put him in the corner. He's got the clothesline. Now got him in the corner now. Now this is what you want. If you're public enemy looking for the hit list. Got it. And this should be one and done here. No. Bass Armstrong still in it. Ricardo, much more agile of the two. But also, that comes with a price. You don't have the strength. You don't have the power like Justin. And that's not me dissing Ricardo Rose and questioning his ability. That's just the way things are. The way it looks. Now a tag being made here. The stare down. Now that slight distraction, the slight hesitation, and look at this, Ricardo Rose is feeling it. This guy's feeling it, look at it. And he ain't done, look at the DDT, this guy's moving. This guy is magnificent, looking for the hit list. Got it, the hit list. There's another one. Mass Armstrong taken out. Hook of the leg here, public enemy, got it, no. I don't know how the Muscle Hustlers are surviving this, but they are somehow. It's Justin, oh. He's getting caught now. And down he goes. The powerhouse. Might be down and out here, but there's Ricardo to save the matchup. Now he probably anticipated a tag happening. A Bass Armstrong taken out. It's Justin Rose with the taunt. And oh, look at that. A slam from Justin Rose. Try to get him in the corner for the hit list again. And, oh, look at the Hurricane Rana. Ah, ah, 
And the slight distraction allows Justin Rose some recovery time. And this is what we're talking about with the AI. We're just... We're just managing it, folks. That's all we can do. Wasted so much time there. Not able to turn it around, no. Nope. Blocked it, and a couple of chops, and oh, there's a chop block right to the knee. That's gonna hurt. Justin Rose trying to make the hop tag over, and he got it. He had to, and oh, got sucker right into it. Ricardo Rose down and out. There's Justin, Justin's right there. Justin's right there. He went to the apron. And the muscle hustlers get the victory. Justin. Absolutely screwed up there. He was right there. But he decided to go to the apron. And that slight mistake allows the Muscle Hustlers to get the victory here. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to get to your next match. All right, folks, here we are with your next matchup. And this is women's matchup here. We have Scarlet Nova. Making her way to the ring here. Scarlet Nova now. Looking for a little bit of revenge here to avenge her sister dis from despair here tonight. Her sister Aurora faced off against despair and was victorious or lost against despair. Unfortunately, despair won that one. Luna, Luna had to be very happy about that as Luna recruited Despair to Rapture. Along with the likes of Dollface. Now you have despair now. Making her eerie walk. To the squared circle. Now the worst thing you can do with a faction like Rapture is get on their bad side, interfere with their business. And I don't really know why Scarlet was the target initially. Because it was Scarlet that was attacked at RCW Afterlife in, Decem in December of last year. And that's when Rapture had finally made their appearance on the scene here on RCW and I often wonder why Scarlet in particular was the target. That is a mystery I don't think any of us will ever really know the answers to. Now if you remember Scarlet has had a lot of turmoil with Savannah Williams, and that led to an interstellar combat match on the moon, of all things. Absolute insanity, I'll tell you.
And um, I will say this, there's going to be a press conference soon enough that you'll be able to see live on, I, I can see if I could do it on Twitch. I might be able to do it on YouTube. I know I can set it as a premiere for YouTube. I'm not sure how to go about it for doing it for Twitch, but um, we'll have a press conference in regards to declaration in preparation for also Slam Fest too as well. It's not sure when that'll take place, but we will have one. Let's turn our focus back to this matchup here. Scarlet has despair in the corner here. The quick kicks. She has that quick striking ability. She runs in with a face wash again. Now up to the second rope as despair on the ropes here. And uh, oh, sweep of the leg and. Despair baited her in. And now it's Scarlet who finds herself in the corner. That was a great bait. Take advantage of Scarlet's eagerness there. She tried for the kick and missed it. Despair. Irish Whitman lands the kick this time. Scarlet trying to avenge her sister Despair or her sister Aurora from the match. Happened last week. Is Scarlet now looking to do something dangerous? Here's the avalanche Spanish fly. Right to despair, a little bit hurt. After that, I don't blame her. Not even going to get a one count out off of that. And Scarlet pulling no punches here. She's got to keep this moving. Got to have this movement. Like I said, very quick on her feet. She knows what she needs to do. Despair tried for the forearm, missed it. Again, it's the quickness that is really helping her out here. And oh, she got caught on the ear with that kick. Doing the smart thing though, dragging her away from the ropes, hooking the leg here. Referee down, two, and Scarlet in it. Scarlet has a lot of resilience in her. She's been through a lot. Like I said, at the hands of Rapture, the, the primary target of Rapture, and they haven't been able to keep her down. She was put in a medically induced coma in the hospital after the vicious attack from Savannah Williams, which led to that interstellar combat matchup. I outlawed so much. This woman has been through and especially that casket match with Luna Outlaw in which nobody predicted her winning that one. Because now she's looking for the UFO cutter. Here it is! The UFO cutter wasting no time at all to kick out from the spear. You gotta love the eagerness. You can't take your foot off the gas pedal if you're Scarlet now looking for the into the cosmos. Got it lined up. There it is. Rolled over into the pin. Referee took a little bit to get down there to kick out from despair again. And it was that slight hesitation from the referee getting down for the count. I can understand getting in the perfect position for that, but. That's, that's a big issue there. You have to be down right away.
Got to keep your head on a swivel, not only if you're a competitor, but also if you're a referee in this match. Is Despair now trying for the kick. Rolled through it. Tried for the end of the Cosmos again. It appears that Despair has this one scouted. Despair now going for strikes of her own. Look at this. Overhead belly to belly. Who would have thought strength would come from a girl like Despair? Look at this. The edge bomb. A little bit of a lackluster cover, count of two, and that allows Scarlet to kick out. I can understand the frustration, and there's a kick right to the face. And oh, Scarlet propped right back up to her feet. And it's the adrenaline rush in her again. A lackluster cover after just a little slam. And Despair looked in disgust there. And again, Scarlet up to her feet. Now this is Scarlet. Look at that crossbody. Wasting no time now. Look at this. Flatliner. <laughs> and now Scarlet again going for the UFO. Cutter. There it is. Now you can't waste time now. You got to go for into the Cosmos again. She's got it. Hooked into the cosmos. The RCW fandom wants it one more time. Are they going to get it? Yes. Despair. Kicks out again. You remember how much it took For Despair to get rid of Aurora, she's hoping that Scarlet isn't the same. What a, it's looking like it is. Look at this. Despair tried for the forearm again. Again, Scarlet just outsmarting. Earn that pop up knee and now. It's going right after that. There's nothing stronger than sisterhood right here. As she plants despair, referee took a little bit too much time. And that's just two. Now despair again. Hook this. Oh, planet. Oh, the house call. Not much of a running start, though. Kick right to the side of the head. That's got only be dazed with Scarlet still in it. And Scarlet rolling herself over to the corner. I th think she was trying to roll out of the ring, but she can only make it to the corner. She saw despair. Lurking. She's calling her up to her feet, looking for that stop, perhaps. There it is! A stop that took out her sister. Aura had a kick out. Look at that. You saw the frustration there. Now looking for the H bomb. Is that enough to take out Scarlet? No!
And we're seeing a lot of wherewithal is all oh, she tried for the knee drop and tweaked the knee. And the spinning back fist here. Irish whip. Work around and a knee right to the midsection. And I think Despair just has a lot of anger here. And you can see it by these vicious elbows. And again, Scarlet trying to recollect herself in the corner. Look at this. DDT! And now, Scarlet propped up to her feet again. But there's Despair. Look at this. Referee got in the way. And Scarlet may be in trouble. Age bomb. One, two, three. Despair gets the win. What a fight from Scarlet, but Despair gets the win and unfortunately can't get the revenge that she wanted. That being Scarlet as Despair gets the win here. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to get to your next match momentarily. All right, folks, we are at your main event now. And it is for the World Championship. And so you have that man, Jason Money Moreno. And he's going to have to be 100% on his game tonight. I believe he was one of the participants in the uh, Fatal 4-Way Elimination Match. for the number one contendership all that long ago that led to Tiger winning that title at RCW Breakpoint when Big Nasty was the world champion. And that was all the way back in May, that premium live event. Our next premium live event is coming at you a lot sooner than later. Declaration, folks, as we get our world champion coming out here. Tiger. Now, this man has defended the title numerous times since gaining it. The last title defense he had was against Ortolanza in what was supposed to be a last man standing matchup, and it was, but the referee's count was that we restarted it and we had Shannon Gray substitute for our ref there in a normal mono -e mono one one-on-one matchup. And like I mentioned, folks, declaration. Tiger, that man is right on the poster. July 19th, right here on Twitch. So they have the world title up for grabs here in the main event. Jason Money Moreno. And our world champion, Tiger. Now it makes me wonder, is our Royal Rumble winner the savior, Desmond Wright? Who will he choose? Will he choose Bobby's... Will he choose, not Bobby Saturn, but Bryce Blackwell? 
or will he choose that man right there? Defending his title with pride, and he's always been doing it. He, he told me that was his mission since gaining that title, that he was going to defend it every so often against anybody who would want to challenge him. And here on Fusion, he will defend it against Jason Moreno. Is he going to be money tonight? And end the reign of Tiger, or will Tiger reign supreme yet again? Here we go. Jason Moreno very quick on his feet. He has that quick striking ability, but so does Tiger despite his heavy stature. I realize that Tiger is a very tall individual here. And Jason Moreno right here doing a really good job breaking down the world champion. And there... It's Tiger with his strength with the release German suplex. Jason Moreno, a member of Glitz and Gucci, the tag team with Austin Lee, the excellence of arrogance, our former world champion and our first ever king of the ring. Some of you are wondering when that tournament is coming back. I can't tell you exactly when, but I can tell you this, that it will come back in due time. There's a couple of clotheslines there as Tiger starting this one off. Great! Oh, what a knee! To Jason Moreno to retain his title and just to kick out at one. The Tiger ain't stopping the senton. Lance Fletcher, that man, and stomping away. Now, like I mentioned, Tiger wanted to bring back honor to the championship. He wanted to be a champion that RCW is proud to have. And I don't like to show a lot of bias. I'm supposed to be an impartial commentator here, but definitely the Blackwell family. That ain't it. When it comes to honorable. That does not describe the Blackwell family in the slightest. It's Jason Money Moreno. The top here, top rope. Tigers in a precarious position, and there's the double foot stunt. But he didn't go for the cover, though. Going right after the arm. Again, the technical prowess of Jason Moreno on display here. Head, scissor, elbow. To our world champ. Remember, this is for the title, folks. Title bout. Here in the main event. Of and Jason Money Moreno going up top now. And is he going to be money here? Looking for the elbow drop. Oh, my. What a weird way to take a what was supposed to be an elbow drop. It turned into almost like a clothesline there. Tiger got up to his feet, and he had to kick out of that. But that was... Not how Jason Moreno drew it up. Now look at this. Tiger. Buckle bomb to Moreno. Now he missed it. Oh, and a knee strike right there. Now look at this. And Seguri catches Moreno. And he ain't done there. There's a knee. And he follows that up again with a senton. Now looking for that cartwheel kick. Got it! And now he's looking to charge up what's been old reliable the night stalker DDT! And Moreno's busted open to retain the championship. Kick out at two. Money Moreno still in this thing. And oh. 
That woke him up. Moreno. Hesitated a moment, deciding to get out of the ring. And Tiger with a vicious clothesline. The, the three clotheslines there. Now he's a man that likes to finish things inside the squared circle, right where they belong. And Tiger tried for something there. Jason ended up pushing him off. Now in the corner, now, oh, there's an elbow. Tiger once again taking Jason Moreno down. He's keeping him down, constantly going. Section, and he went to the well too many times there. And now both men. Oh, tit for tat here. Oh, Jason Moreno able to block that one. Here. Between our world champion and the challenger and Tiger. With one last shot, gets the better of that exchange. And now he's pumped up. Over that cartwheel kick. Got it! And now wasting little time. Tiger Fang death grip! The Tiger Fang death grip! And Moreno is out of it! And what did I say? It only takes one. Tiger is still your world champion. Thank you guys so much for joining us here on Fusion as Tiger retains his world title.